Hello, welcome to the Adam Vale YouTube channel. We're going to be tasting this now. This is from Iceland Blue Dragon Spicy Chili Chicken Pizza. Two on the spice level, it says right there. In Iceland, you can get, I got this in like three items for a tenner. So it was in that three items for a tenner thing. <laughs> let's, let's have a look what it's like frozen. Then I'll cook it, then I'll show it, and then we will taste it because it's cooked. So have a look at the uh, frozen if you want to. So here's a look at it frozen so we can see what we've got. We can see some red onion in there. All frozen. It's going to be cooked 18 to 20 minutes, I think they said. Don't look too bad, but if you want to see what it's like frozen, there we go. I think it's in there bits of chicken. Definitely see that red onion. But there we go, frozen. Look at that. Let's put it in. So is it cooked? Looks alright, doesn't it? It does actually look alright. Looks very similar to that picture. I will give it credit for that. Let's taste this. Right, we're back. There it is cooked there. You can see it cooked there. I'm going to have a smell. It smells quite nice, you know. You can smell the onion in it and that. So I'm going to cut it with my um, trusty one of these. These things always scare me. Just because they look sharp, don't they? They look like a horror instrument from a horror film. But I'm going to cut this. No fancy way of cutting it. I'm just going to cut it as you should cut pizza. There we go. Let's get a nice section of this with some chicken. And we'll check out the bendature of the pizza. So you want a bit of bend and flex. But on this, that's that's going to drop off. It's all dropping. It's dropped. It's dro dropping off. It's dropping off. That's that could be a good sign. Oh, it's dropping everywhere. Could be a good sign because it's showing there's a lot of topping on top. I will show you my tripod stand. It's probably gone up now. That's the droppage I had on this. So there's a lot of droppage. Let's go for it. Yeah, it drops off. So a good bit of flex on it, a good bit of that bendicha. But it does drop off. Right. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. It's a thin base. Getting a bit of that spice already from the chilli. I wouldn't say that's two chilies on that, no. It's got two out of three. three. It's probably like one and a half, I would say. Loads of flavour on this. The pizza's a nice pizza. It's almost like a... I don't think it is, but it's almost like a flatbread. i tell you what, that's a nice pizza. Nice, nice spice level. A lot of topping. That's what I like about um, like a thin based pizza. You ain't got all that dough, and that dough sucks up flavour. So I've got it everywhere. It's a messy pizza. That dough sucks sucks up the flavour, and you end up just eating lumps of dough after dough, tasting them nothing when it's thin. I believe, my, 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 in my opinion, you're getting more flavour because you're getting all that flavour from the top. This is any pizza. All that flavour from the top and you ain't just you ain't just chewing mouthful after mouthful of dough. So I do like the thin base pizzas. Nice crisp on the crust. I'll tell you what, that's a tasty pizza. On the pizza scale, I'll have that again, yep. I'll give that out of 10. I think I'll give that a 7.8 for a frozen pizza. Well done there, Blue Dragon, at Iceland. Last bite. Everyone knows the rules. Come. 7.8. For more videos where I talk about the dough of pizza, subscribe. Not bad.